All right, so let's launch our document. We're going to open an untitled document and then we're going to name it first things first. So we're just going to call this manuscript. All right, you can name it whatever you want to name it. Then we're going to go into file and we're going to go into page setup. Now, what we want to do here really is to choose the trim size for our book. Now, currently, and in most word processor pro programs, um, they are set to a 5.8.5 by 11 inch trim size, which is usually the size of a print paper. But on Amazon, which is the biggest bookseller, in the world you usually have either and let me close this out to show you so using this as our, our measurement you usually have either a six right a six by nine so six on top here and then by nine or you have a five inch by eight inch book now if we go back into file and page setup right and we go to paper size we're going to click on that the closest we have to what I just described, which is about a six by nine inch, is this 5.5 by eight inch. And then there is another one here, 5.83 by 8.27. So Google Docs doesn't really give you do a good job of giving you the exact sizes, but for the purposes of this video, we're gonna choose the 5.5 by 8.5 because that's close enough to what we want, okay? Then we're gonna set the margins and that's the, the, the bits of space that's at the top and at the sides of the pages. Now, because this is a smaller trim size than the 8.5 by 11, we're going to make this zero, let's say 0 0.75 at the top, 0 0.75 at the bottom, so once that's done, you can click OK. So once we have our trim size set, now we can begin to build our book. Now, usually with every book, you have what's known as the title page. So let's set up our title page. Let's say we're writing a book on how to potty train your child in 30 days okay so now we have this title page but in order for it to look like a title right right now it's a normal text so what we can do is go to th this right here where it says normal text and we're going to apply title okay how to train how do you train your child in 30 days usually also you'll find that with the title page the title is centered and actually i would make this a little bigger so let's make that a little bigger okay for our title page all right we can even use our enter key to bring it down a little bit doesn't have to be perfect but at least you should have a title page let's enter that all right so the next thing we're going to do is to create a copyright page this is where you're going to put the copyright information for your book that says you wrote this book on this year and this is your author you know just pick up any book any book and you'll see that right after the title page you usually have a copyright page and you want to do that for your book as well so we are going to go into insert we're going to go into break and you can put a page break okay so let's do that page break it brings up another page and this is going to be a copyright page now because we don't want this to be title we want it to just be like normal text we're going to click on that and then over here we're going to say copyright um and then you usually put the copyright symbol it's usually just a c within a parenthesis or you could um go to insert you can go to insert and then special characters and then you'll be able to see those special characters you can actually just look for copyright right and it comes up so you can do it that way as well so copyright to 2023 and then you're going to put your author name you're going to put the copyright clause that's usually um there in most it's pretty standard and so you can kind of take that and then modify it to your own purposes all right we're going to align this the right way so now we have our copyright page now it's time for us to move into the main book and so again let's go and insert a page break so go to break again insert a page break and now we are on a new page now love it or hate it something that i think is going to be an incredible tool for writers and authors is generative ai and within google docs now you can use generative ai and so since you have your idea for a book 
Actually, what I would do if you haven't done this already is maybe use generative AI to help you create an outline for your book. All right. So we're going to say, I want to write a book on potty training your child in 30 days or less. Provide me with a 10 chapter outline of what I can write. All right. Now this is not to allow you to generate the book with AI. I really don't like that idea of generating a whole book with AI, but AI can definitely help you with some of those mundane tasks with ideation and things like that. So this is exactly what we're using this for. We're not going to completely depend on this, but it's going to be a way for us to get started. Okay. So let's, let's put in that prompt. All right. So I've put in the prompt and we're just going to hit create and see what it comes up with. All right. So it spun out something for us. Chapter one, there's an introduction to potty training, preparing your child, starting it, dealing with accidents, staying positive, all that good jazz. So if you generate this outline, and in this case, I asked the AI to provide me with a sample 10 chapter outline, right? And so it did. If you're satisfied with these, then I would make this I would use this uh, outline. You can also go ahead and refine the outline. So you can click on that and say, oh, okay, I like these. How about we elaborate on these headlines, right? On these chapter top topics. And we have some feedback. Now, I haven't gone through all of this to see what's correct or incorrect. And that's going to have to be your job, right? Like, yes, these AI tools are going to be our assistants, but ultimately you need to fact check. Ultimately, you need to make sure that our information is accurate. And especially if you're an expert in that field, just make sure everything is on point. Okay. So let's say that you did check everything. Everything looks good. Then we're going to insert this outline. Okay. So now we have a 10 chapter outline that we can begin to write our book with. And so for each of these, I'm going to basically turn the chapters into um, headings and you'll see why I'll do, I'm doing this. When we apply a heading, what it does is it, it creates a, a chapter outline right here. So we can easily click on these, they're, they're clickable. You can click on them and go to the specific chapter. And I find this is helpful when, especially you've written multiple pages, right? And maybe you are on page, I don't know, page three, and you want to go to page 75, or you want to go to chapter seven. You don't have to scroll all the way down. You just click on a chapter. So let's do that for all the chapter headings. We have now applied all the chapter headings. So to put chapter two on another page, again, we're going to use our favorite tool, which is go to insert, go to page break, click on that. It's going to push chapter two and everything else to another page. And now when we write on this page, this is not going to bleed into this chapter. And you can do that for each of them so that you separate all the chapters onto separate pages. Let's go to page break again. You separate the chapters onto separate pages. And as you add your content, it's just going to add the pages without bleeding into the next chapter. So your, your chapters will be already set and it will be very, very easy for you to progress through your book. And like I said, as we made all the headings, we have all the 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 things <laughs> all the links right here so we can just click on chapter nine and go to chapter nine so do that for all your chapters just like i showed you just insert a page break for all your chapters so that you can begin writing that content now once you set that up i would definitely start inserting page numbers and so again go to insert go to page numbers you can choose the style that you want to put the page numbers in i would start the page numbers not on the title page so let's click on this option right this option shows you the icon is showing you there's no page number on the title page but there's a page number following that so let's click on that and when you go up to the title page you'll notice that there's no page number but once you get to the copyright page there is a number and it's in the footer right and so that's what i would do is skip that first page right and then um, skip that title page and then put the numbers starting on the following page. All right. It's kind of weird to see a page number on that title. So usually what happens with um, books is that you will have the title of the book as well as the author name. Some, a lot of the time running at the top, right? If you want that Google docs is not the very best tool for this type of formatting. But one of the ways you can kind of work around it, which is not perfect, is to go to insert, 
right and then we're going to put a header or footer so we're going to put a header all right and then it's going to open this space above our title above our chapter title right and so we can put um how to potty train your child in 30 days or less right and if you like you can have your last name so um maybe your last name is joy and we're gonna put that there all right you can also the few formatting things you can do is you could uh italicize it right and so now when you are done with that it's going to be on all the pages now this is why i said it's not perfect because sometimes you'd have to put place a space between the chapter title and the running header over there so it's going to put that on it's not going to put it on the title page but as you can see it's put it on the copyright page which typically you wouldn't put it on the copyright page but again i said it's not perfect but you can work around it this way if you're able to follow these simple steps that i just showed you using google docs to write your book i am very confident that you will finish that book and be super proud of it give this a thumbs up if you like the video